Well, for more on the story, we're joined by legal analyst advocate Romeo Ntambeleni. Uh, good evening and thank you so much for your time. Interesting that um, listening to that bite there, uh, Mr. Mulder making a distinction between the state of South Africa's economy where we are and how that uh, should not be linked to race. And yet, when we look at a document like the country's constitution, it is very clear in terms of what it says needs to be done to ensure a country where social justice is attained. Yeah, absolutely, Kathy. Good evening to you and uh, the, the viewers. Uh, look, you're right. Uh, the Constitution in Section 9 speaks about equality. And then this uh, 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 provision of the Constitution, in terms of the labor law, is supported in the Basic Condition of Employment Act. And then what we are actually talking to you know, tonight is covered under the provisions of Section 5 and Section 6 of the Employment Equity Act of uh, Act 55 of 1998, uh, which prohibits uh, you know, elimination uh, of unfair discrimination in the workplace. And then you know, Section 5, 5 states state that the employer must take reasonable steps to promote equal, equal opportunities in the workplace by ex uh, actually eliminating unfair discrimination in any employment policy and you know, practice. So that is important, and it, it talks to the very same issues that we are actually you know, talking about. And the Constitution says that discrimination must you know, be justified you know, in an open and a constitutional democracy based on the Constitution and the law. And that is, that is the basis or the premise that we actually use when we no, we deal with these issues. When we look at the context of the letter written by the DISCAM CEO, it acknowledges the fact that the company has been failing when it comes to ensuring that it is offering a diverse workplace and it is hiring diverse managers across the organization. And, and that's a problem that is experienced in multiple other countries, uh, big companies in, in this country. And it's responding fundamentally to that issue. Is it wrong for them to have gone about doing this in that no. way? Uh, no, uh, Kathy, I, I completely agree with you. In a country like South Africa, you no, know, 30 years after democracy, we're still grappling with these kind of issues. You're actually quite correct that you know, the premise you know, that they are moving from might be a correct premise to say that we actually need to rebalance the scale and make sure that you know, you know, black managers are favored. And, you know, and that is what I categorize as fair discrimination under the Constitution to say that if there can be a basis for that discrimination, that is based on the law. You know, and, and there are matters that went to the Labor Court where the Labor Court actually confirmed that position, that if it can be justifiable under the law, on the grounds that we're actually raising, given the injustices of the past, that argument can actually find favor in the letter that it, it was actually you know, written because it seeks nothing but to actually promote that there must be fairness and there must be you know, just in terms of you know, employment of black managers in you no know, this camp and in that workplace. I, I believe that you cannot find you no know, fault in, 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 that, in, the, in that context. Solidarity says it's now going to challenge this matter in court. What do you think would be some of the avenues or options available to them? Yeah, look, you know, they, they are obviously you know, arguing that you know, the discrimination is unfair and it's not based on the law. That is the long and short of the argument. But what does Section 6 you know, you know, of Employment Equity provide? It says that you must not uh, you know, discriminate unfairly directly or indirectly based on the race, you know, based on policy, based on gender, and you know, uh, and all those listed grounds. So, uh, you know, uh, you know the, their, will their argument find favor in court? I don't think so. And uh, if, if uh, you know, this can, can show that you know, the basis of their discrimination is fair and is based on the injustices of the past, and as we are actually saying now that black managers must be given the opportunities to be given first preference, and I think that is why that argument will actually, might actually find favor you know, in court. All right, let's leave it there for tonight. Legal analyst advocate Romeo Ntambeleni.